Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday, December 2nd, first trading day of Monday. It's going to be a busy month. We've got FOMC coming up next week. Um, I would say a busy next 20 days. Um, the month should really wind down on that 19th Friday. So... Let's put our heads down, put in another um, good, solid, professional couple weeks of trading uh, to finish out the year here. Let's talk about uh, what's going on right now. Um, we had this uh, Chinese uh, PMI coming out on uh, over the weekend, beat by one-tenth, so Aussie Yen is a little bit higher. We closed at 04. Um, now we're up at 27. This daily sloping, this daily line that we've been uh, talking about is still in play as far as the trend is concerned. Above this line is, is bullish, below is, is bearish. Um, we will be taking action if price crosses through this line today. 93, 73, 93 is the point. That's. Um, sort of four tenths of a percent away a long way in vol terms uh, in these conditions so let's be careful with that but this is what we're looking at in Aussie yen euro dollar printed a bullish day uh, could have been more bullish if we'd closed um, above 30 on Friday but we didn't but it was still bullish so now we're looking to see if price confirms this bullish action action 130.30 uh, will confirm for us. We'll start to work on longs in euro dollar if we get above 130.30. We do have manufacturing PMI and Lagarde speaking today. Um, so that could move the euro, but uh, we're not going to get our hopes up 10 point range overnight. Dollar yen not doing much. Mildly higher on uh, the Chinese beat. Not really sure what to do with that. Same thing with stock market, mildly higher uh, on the Chinese beat. Pretty much the same chart. I had a pretty bearish day on um, on Friday because of this uh, crude price. But crude is now also bounced up 1.67%. Uh, but let's be careful of this bar on, in the crude area. I mean, this is a very serious bar. If I were a better... If I were better at trading crude, I would recommend shorts. Uh, but because I'm terrible at trading crude, I won't recommend anything here. Um, the low was 55 bucks. The low before on uh, the 20th was uh, 50.45. So let's just keep an eye on that area there as a barometer for risk and problems. We talked about it in, uh, a couple weeks ago. One of the metrics that might turn this whole house of cards into a towering inferno um, is crude below 50 bucks so we're watching that long way away still if that's 10 percent away people so don't uh, get your panties in a twist here but um, just watching the crude there see how that looks Elsewhere, cable's not doing much. Dollar Swiss is not doing much. Dollar Swiss did put this triple top in now. So one double oh twenty five and Dollar Swiss is on a triple top. The hedging in Dollar Swiss is going to come to wind down and come to a close here in the next 10 days, probably before FOMC. Um, so be careful of this after, uh, say, midweek this week or towards the end of this week. The natural hedging that we've been talking about is going to come to a close. We don't know when, we don't know how much has already been done. Um, this could surprise a lot of people at the end of the year if Dollar Swiss shoots higher. Uh, I have no idea why or how that would happen, but if it does, uh, this would surprise a lot of people. Same thing on the gold chart, uh, still 20 bucks away, but prices down through 45 would surprise the hell of a lot of, out of a lot of people. So, um, Let's keep an eye on that just over the next 20 days. This is probably a, an FOMC trade if they're super bullish, super hawkish on the dollar. 
focus today is euro dollar and Aussie yen so we're seeing if euro dollar can climb through 30 uh, if not we do nothing and we're going to see if uh, Aussie yen can climb down through 7390 uh, these lows here uh, otherwise we're just going to be waiting and watching these numbers see how they come out and listening to Lagarde uh, she's speaking in the afternoon European time I won't belabor the point here uh, Good luck today, people. Make some dough. Have a good month. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow.